SoFi Invest, one of my top two favorite investment platforms. If you wanna learn which is the other favorite investment platform of mine, you're gonna to have to stick around till the end of this video where I'll tell you what that is. And later you could watch that review video. If you're interested in creating an account with SoFi Invest, you can get $25 in free stock after investing $100 using my referral link in the description below. So there's essentially two different ways that you can invest with SoFi, the active invest platform. So that's what all of my accounts are where you can choose stocks, ETFs, and crypto, you can choose when to buy, how much to buy, when to sell, et cetera. And then they have their automated investing platform. So with the automated investing, the nice thing with them compared to other robo-advisors such as Betterment, Wealthfront, and the like is there's no management fee. So if you saw my recent Betterment video, they charge a quarter of a percent per year for their just automated investing. And if you want the more advanced platform where you can actually talk to a financial advisor, they would charge 0.4%. With SoFi Invest automated investing platform, there's no management fee. If you want me to create an account and later a review of SoFi's automated investing platform, right, automated investing down below in the comments and I'd gladly create the video. So to give you a super quick overview of why I like SoFi Invest so much is I think it's great for long-term investors and for beginner investors. So we're gonna get into all the different pros and cons of SoFi Invest, but I think if you're just getting started and want to invest for the long term, SoFi Invest is a great place to start. Before we go further in this video, I wanna mention I'm not a financial advisor and nothing in this video is financial advice. Before purchasing any stock, ETF, cryptocurrency, or making any other investment, you wanna make sure to do your own research. One of the reasons I like SoFi Invest is the different options they have for account types. So you have a traditional taxable brokerage, you have traditional IRAs, Roth IRAs, SEP IRAs. And so you can decide the type of investment or the type of account you wanna have that each of them has their own tax advantages and disadvantages that I've talked about in some other videos. But some of the platforms such as Robinhood or Public, you just have a taxable pro brokerage. You don't have the retirement account options, which I think are really important if you're investing for the long term and wanna save money on your taxes. Now let's go through three features that SoFi Invest has that are fairly common across the board, but I wouldn't create an account with an investment platform that doesn't offer these three options. The first of which is commission-free trading. So the industry standard now is to not charge commission when buying or selling stocks or ETFs. This is true with SoFi Invest and a lot of the other investment platforms. The second feature is the ability to purchase fractional shares. So shares such as Amazon, Tesla, Google, Berkshire Hathaway and a bunch of ETFs are hundreds or thousands of dollars. So if you want to set up recurring deposits, which we're gonna talk about in a second, for say 10, 20, $50 per week or per month, you're not gonna be able to buy those shares because they're too expensive. But with fractional shares, you can essentially set up the amount that you wanna purchase and purchase very, very small amounts of your favorite stocks and ETFs and not have to purchase a full share. The third feature I couldn't live without in an investment platform is the ability to set up recurring purchases. So to be able to set it and forget it and to know that your investment account balance is gonna to continue to grow because on a recurring basis, you are making new investments on a weekly, bi-weekly, or monthly basis. And so I have a whole course about automating your finances and recurring deposits or investments is an important part of that. If you're interested in signing up for the free course, check out the link in the description below. But let me just show you how easy it is to set up a recurring deposit. So let's say I wanted to invest every week in Google shares. So I just search for Google. Here is the summary of Google. I thought this would be helpful to see as well. So you can see the, the last price. So I'm recording this over the weekend. So the market's closed right now, but I can look at it over the last day, week, month, three months, year, and five years. There's a little bit of a summary. There's some recent news. There is investor activity. So there is a bit of a social aspect to SoFi. I don't necessarily participate or share my trades or what I follow on the platform, but that is available. And then along the right-hand side, you're gonna see my investment. So I own $61.49 of Google right now. Here's the 2.6% of a share that I own, the average cost. I've actually lost five, $4.49, it's down 6.81%. But down below, this is the summary that everybody would see. So the daily high, daily low, price open, 52 week high and low, the market cap, dividend yield, volume, average volume, PE ratio. 
So that's just a quick summary while we're on our way to set up a recurring purchase. So to do that, I just click on add a recurring purchase. And the first thing you need to choose is how frequently. So is it weekly? So then you choose the day of the week that you'd like to do it every two weeks, monthly, let's say weekly on Monday, so that works fine. So select that. And then I would like to invest $5. So again, the important thing is here is fractional shares, recurring, small amounts, so you can set up your portfolio and continually invest in whatever stocks, ETFs, or crypto, or whatever you'd like to invest in on a consistent basis. So five bucks, next. Okay, so source account, pull from my SoFi Money account, and buy Google. Boom, you're now regularly investing in Google. Your next order will be placed on April 25th, 2022. Done. Let me just show you a little bit more of the SoFi Invest platform on my computer and know everything you can do here, you could also do on your cell phone. So the invest part of SoFi is gonna look something like this. It gives it your total account balance. Below it's gonna give you the different accounts you have. So traditional IRA, individual active investing, Roth IRA, and crypto account. There are features to explore. So IPO investing, margin, get some extra points by setting up a current crypto deposit, automatically reinvesting your cash dividend. So that's something that's nice to do. I think I have it set up on all of my accounts except for my new Roth IRA. I'll add that at some point later on. And if you transfer your investments from another brokerage, you can also get some free money here. And then here is the market comparison. So the S&P 500, Dow Jones, NASDAQ, Russell Oil, Gold, US Bonds, and Bitcoin. The scheduled recurring deposit of Google, you're gonna see right here. Here's a summary of my holdings. Here's the crypto holdings. And then down below is my watch list. So something that's nice is to be able to see the watch list of companies, companies or ETFs or cryptocurrencies that you haven't yet invested in, but you want to keep track of. So if you want to add something new to your watch list, it's really easy to do right here. So I think I searched for Ford earlier. So if that's what I want to do, I could just click on Ford, search for it, whatever. And here's what the screen comes up for them. And if I wanted to add them to my watch list, there we go, now on my watch list. One other thing I wanna show you really quickly while reviewing the investment platform is what it looks like when you're looking at ETFs. So if I looked at Vanguard, which of their ETFs do we want to view today? How about their Vanguard large cap ETF? So if we click off the search, then we can view everything a little bit easier. And so along the right-hand side, a lot of the stuff that we saw for individual stocks is here, here the daily high and low, the price, uh, the dividend yield, volume, PE ratio, SEC yield, and then the other thing is the expense ratio. The expense ratio for ETS can vary quite a bit. Something like investing in large cap US stocks in generally is gonna be pretty low like this, but if it's investing in small cap stocks, in high yield debt, in foreign bonds, or something like that, you may see expense ratios quite a bit higher. The other thing that you can view when you're looking at ETFs is their top 10 holdings. So if you wanna know what actual stocks, bonds, or other investments you're gonna be holding by investing in this ETF, you can view at least the largest investments right here. So this ETF is invested in Apple, Amazon, Google, Nvidia, Meta, Microsoft, Tesla, Google, Berkshire Hathaway, and United Health Group. If you wanted to view more, you could probably go to, in this case, Vanguard's website and get a longer list of the investments that they're investing in with this ETF. But just know, as you're looking to compare stocks, ETFs, cryptocurrencies, you have quite a bit of information here within the SoFi Invest platform. A very unique feature to SoFi Invest is the ability to speak to a financial advisor for free. So if you use a platform such as Betterment, the normal management fee is 0.25%. If you wanna actually talk to a live person, either over the phone or through chat, you need to have at least a $100,000 balance and you need to pay 0.4% as opposed to 0.25%. So that gets to be quite expensive where with SoFi Invest, you can talk to a financial advisor for free. It's really easy to set up. Let me actually show you how this worked. I have not scheduled my call with a financial advisor yet, but it's something that I plan on doing soon. So if you click on your name at the top right and then go to membership. And then here you're gonna see all the things that are available to SoFi members. So you get 10% off trusts or guardianships 
through our partner Trust and Will. They have career services as well, so you can set up a free call with a career counselor. Here are different webinars that they have that you could attend. And then down here you see financial planners. No cost financial advice to help you get your money right. Goals, meet progress, schedule a time, let's do it. And so here is what the platform looks like. And so you can see on the 26th of April, the 29th, here's the availability. Let's see what May looks like. It looks like they only schedule the coming week, the upcoming week and the week after that. So I don't see anything later in May and you can't click on June. But if I want to schedule something on May 2nd, basically any time between 9.30 a.m. and 4 p.m. Central Time or Eastern Time right here. So if you're not sure about your financial plan and you want someone to be able to bounce ideas off of, this is a nice option. So if we look at the page that summarizes the financial advisor, here's SoFi's page on financial planning. You don't need big time finances to get big time advice. At no cost, scrolling down further. So topics to, to explore with your planner. Reach your goals, build a budget, borrow the right way, save for the future, invest smartly, protect what's important. So here's some common questions that their financial advisors get asked. So I should probably set up a meeting with one of their financial advisors so I can see what they have to say and create a video sharing my experience with all of you. Another thing you can invest in with SoFi Invest that I mentioned earlier on the video is cryptocurrency. So currently they have 29 different cryptocurrencies. They charge a one and a quarter percent fee, but if you set up recurring deposits, so when you get money from your paycheck and it goes directly into purchasing cryptocurrency, they waive the 1.25% fee. One kind of disadvantage of investing in crypto with SoFi Invest compared to other uh, cryptocurrency exchanges is the fact you can't transfer in and out the cryptocurrency from SoFi Invest. So you only have the ability to make the investment, to hold it and to sell it as opposed to send your, send your friend $100 of Bitcoin or send it to a different platform or things like that that you can do with other crypto exchanges. Not too long ago, I created a comparison video where I compared nine different crypto exchanges in terms of the fees. So which is the cheapest place to purchase cryptocurrency? SoFi Invest was kind of middle of the pack, not the most expensive, nor the cheapest place to purchase cryptocurrency. If you wanna watch that video, I'll link to it up above right here. Also, there are a bunch of tutorial and review videos of different crypto exchanges. I'll put all those videos down below in the description. Two fairly recent additions to the SoFi Invest platform is the ability to invest in IPOs. So if a company is going to go public a certain amount of time beforehand, SoFi Invest will show you, hey, these are the upcoming IPOs. You can essentially say, hey, I'm interested in investing in this company that's going public. Here's how many shares I would consider investing. And then they'll get back to you, I think it's the day before the company goes public. And they'll say, hey, you wanted 20 shares, we can get you 10, up to 10 shares. How many do you want? Then there's some restrictions on how long you have to hold the investment if you invested in an IPO. But that, abil that ability to invest in IPO is a nice feature as opposed to having to wait until the company is already traded on the stock market. Another feature that was recently added that I don't recommend using is margin investing. So margin investing is where you can actually invest more money than you actually have in your account balance. So if you have $100, they will let you invest, say, $150. So if you invest at full whole, whole 150, the 150 drops down to 100, then essentially you have to pay their $50 back plus interest. So you had 150 invested, it went down to 100, you have to pay them $50 of the loan back plus interest, and there's only $50 left. So I recommend investing with what you have, not using margin investing. It can give you higher returns, but also on the flip side, if things go down, it's going to make your returns that much worse because you have interest and you have to pay back the loan that you took out. As I mentioned earlier on, this is one of two of my favorite investment platforms. The other investment platform is M1 Finance. If you wanna learn about M1 Finance, check out the video up above. If you wanna go through step-by-step -step the account creation process with SoFi Invest, check out the video below. Hope to see you in those and future videos. Bye.